Okay, this is the beginning of a test. Um, I will first be showing you um, my connection latency and speed through wired. Um, here is the cable going from the BC uh, modem to my computer. This is the shortest cable I could find that would reach. Um, it is very long, but I will also, um, I did have the modem sitting on the floor um, with the, and connected with the cables that come with it, but I kept kicking it. So I put it up here. Um, there's the wire uh, goes to the back there um, and it's my PC. Here is um, now the um, go speed test. Um, Yeah, um, latency five milliseconds. See, that's the thing is, I want to s see what kind of latency I will get with power line. That's the most important thing because I like to play some games. Yeah, um. What I'm paying for is 80 megabytes a second, but it's close. Um, and 20 megabytes upload, um, 20 megabits. Um, it's not too far off. Okay, here's um, another test. Um, I'm doing the back to front at the moment because um, I decided to move the modem off the floor before using the longer cable. But I was going back to show that. That there isn't really any difference having a short cable to a longer one because obviously the um, cable and all that is it, it, it doesn't matter until you go past a certain uh, length um, but here is um, you're just running a test with a short cable see so the la latency is still the same Download speeds about the same. I did turn the modem off, which also might make a little bit of a difference. But that's it. So here's the uh, power line adapter that I brought. Um, it is 600 AV 600. Um, reviews I looked at it got pretty good. Uh, I mean. It's, it's, it's quicker than my actual internet, so I shouldn't, if it all, all's good, it shouldn't be, I shouldn't notice any difference between wired, hopefully, um, but I'm just going to go and set it up. That's, um, there they are, two, quite small actually, probably no bigger than that. Uh, Okay, well, I'm going to plug it in. So, I've now got the unplugged in, um, and they're talking to each other by pairing them together. And there's my BT modem, uh, lots of wires, um, VDSL modem. Um, kind of annoying, have to have so many plugs, but 
<coughs> now, in here, which isn't very far, you see from there to there is there's the other one. It's connected to my computer. Um, hmm. Well, I've just turned it on, so it's connecting all together, and it's um, not finding the internet. Okay, um, I've paused. Okay, now I've got it working. Um, just had to, not sure exactly what I did, but I was messing around with a network and uh, connection and sharing options um, to kind of create um, a new network. Um, but anyway, it's, it's going now. So if I do a speed test. Hopefully the latency will be the same, otherwise, I don't know, it's going to be kind of annoying. Ooh, it's gone up a little bit. Nine. It was five milliseconds, but now it's nine. Download speed's the same. Upload speed's the same. Well, that's it. I've go. Some gaming before um, I show you the me playing Battlefield 4 while well, not playing, just showing you latency and that. Um, I um, before I actually did that, I updated the um, firmware and I moved the um, thing the adapter to the plug socket to the left, and it was over the right. Um, and now my um, ping has gone down to seven um, instead of nine. It's a little bit better. Um, I can test again, show you. Um, yeah, seven again. It's pretty. It's quite consistent. When you get a ping on here, it usually stays about the same. Um, my download speed and upload. It's a bit confusing now, probably because I've I just showed you uh, I've left the other the older bit with the older firmware in and the when it was in a different plug socket. But I thought I'd better update it to show because um, that would keep the gaming video up to date. Um, because I updated it before I played Battlefield 4, which is next. Okay, here's some um, Battlefield 4. Um, there's my oh man, turn look. Oh, the ping there is nine. Um, I am a dark seed number nine. Oh, I ping with when it was wired, it would be as low as seven, and it wouldn't really move. Um, but with with the power line adapter, it's it stays around. Well, it's eight, it's eight or nine, but it does jump up to twenty. You've seen it go up to twenty-two, um, which you, it wouldn't do. It wouldn't go. You know, it would wide. It just stay at sort of seven. It would hardly ever go up ever. So I suppose that's just you know, it must be that the signal has got to go further. And I mean, where I live is it's, it's only a one-bedroom flat um, and I think it was made just not a very old flat 2008 I think it was made so the wiring's not like old or anything um, but I don't think it, I don't know if it's better than having I mean it's better it must be better I don't know if it's better than having a wire across the floor or not but I mean you, you're losing a bit of latency stability of your ping but I, I can't really feel a difference as it it feels the same as when I had I think seven 
I don't know, Pinga 7, um, uh, I believe it feels the same, but... Anyway, um, if I, uh, I mean, I updated the firmware on it, and I don't think it made much difference, but if anything changes, I'll probably update the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.